there, everybody. Um, so we're going to uh, recap, basically, our, our week three. We're actually on technically Monday, so this is week four. Um, but we want, kind of want to go over um, things that we, you know, ran into issues and stuff like that for week Some three. Some challenges. Because um, we're not perfect. We're definitely not Yeah, perfect. no, no, not by any means. Uh, but, you know, we, we still try to stay within our budget uh, as much as possible but sometimes you know things happen and we kind of go over those things um so anyway um true you want to um well, what, well i'll i'll go ahead um so i'll just quickly do a rundown you know uh, this past week we you know uh, for house for housing related stuff we spent fifty four dollars and ninety nine cents and I think that's you know pay that was mainly paying off our internet bill five dollars into his carpen, his union dues we kind of just lump it under home category uh, and under transportation which is gas payments insurance um, car registration you know car fares for this past week three we spent four hundred and eighty six dollars it's mainly because of the car payment as well as the auto insurance going through and you know our well, allotted cash envelopes for that you know, we also don't want to make sure make sure to make sure that it's clear that even though we spent 486 this last week it's not that's not money that we're going over budget mm -hmm. um, we're not. that 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 is including the monthly payments that we pay for like car registration mm -hmm. or Bills. my, my um, my car payment and our and weekly stuff like that. cash budget. We just budgets. happen to pay it on week three. Mm -hmm. Exactly, uh, and and the weekly um, sinking funds that we have for car repairs, car registration, car wash, things like that. You know, we just a lot a certain amount of money each week just for that. So we just say we just say that could okay, we spent money on that. You know, and then we just put it in a sinking fund, uh, a, a savings fund, a savings account. Um, where we just put all that money in and then you know it when the time comes for us to get an oil change or this or that you know maintenance or registration fees um, we will use that to um, instead of just letting it sit going in going over budget or it, and so let, we don't go over budget too yeah exactly so that we you know we know uh, that there is money to take address these issues by the time we get to that um, so anyway, um, for daily living, such as groceries, dining out, clothing, personal care, household supplies, office and work supplies, as well as credit cards, <laughs> that category we spent in the past, for the week three, $1,344. And that includes our $900 payment to our Bank of America credit card, the first credit card we're trying to uh, get rid of, as well as $140 credit card, um, Payment, credit card payment to our Chase Freedom credit card, which is the minimum. You should probably make a separate line so we can see. Because yeah. she's kind of got them lumped, our daily okay. cost of living and credit cards lumped together. Right. We, we, I will, I will um, you know, by, by the time October rolls around, we should probably, we, we will go through our budget sheet and, you know, there's quite a few things that we need to change, you know, um, which I'm going to talk about also at the end of this. Uh, going over this also I also paid uh, for the capital one credit card the balance of it the eight hundred and a hundred and eighty nine dollars so that's paid off so with all that it all came out to for this past week three a thousand three hundred forty four in the entertainment category that's the category we didn't do so well in the in week three well let me explain why wait let no, me let no. me say what what, no. what is the situation okay. and then before you he gets all defensive he's been getting defensive all week uh so for entertainment um we do have two subscriptions uh one subscription and second subscription for unlimited movies at regal cinemas we he loves movies that's like our main source of um enjoyment i guess you know and we do make good use of it for 21 dollars per month subscription each we get unlimited movies and it's at a really nice theater and it's very entertaining i mean it we enjoy because well, we i mean we go to the movies a lot anyway and um and if we go twice a month which is usually about how much we go anyway um we're already spending more than the 21 mm -hmm. um, per month just in the movie tickets right. already. So 
by buying this, we're actually saving money and we get to go more often well, and enjoy those things. We, we can talk about them more in, in a different video as well. Um, and also we have allotted our budget for our entertain, entertainment for the month is $100. Not including, not including, not including uh, the, the subscriptions. Monthly subscription, yeah. The month, month, monthly subscriptions, it would be $142 that we have allotted for entertainment. So that means um, we had $25 that we took out in cash for this past week. We use that for various things like, you know, you know. Um, we include that in like if we go and so buy a soda or soda popcorn or at the movie, we yeah, include yeah, that exactly, in there. Exactly, exactly. Um, and so, but we came over budget. We went over budget mainly because of two things. One, the first thing is my... My cigarettes but that's not exactly addiction. Well, I put it under entertainment because it is entertainment. You know, uh, I am addicted to cigarettes and I need to get rid of it. But right, um, one day at a time. The, I spent eighty dollars. I didn't realize I was spent this much on cigarettes. But eighty dollars and ninety six cents on cigarettes just last week. So that also the second item that we went over for a budget for the entertainment. For week three is one hundred and two dollars and eighty six cents, which was <laughs> Koa will quickly explain. Uh, um, before we even decided to do this months ago, I decided. Doesn't matter. I decided <laughs> to put down a, a, a an advanced uh, an advance an, an advance uh, prepay on a video game that came out this month. Um, and it and was so $102.86 yeah. for game. So, I, you know, it, in, I have a couple of brothers and sisters. Um, I'm actually the oldest. Uh, well, you can talk of, about how it, valuable this it, is to you in life I, I, later on. No, in, I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Right now. Okay. So, anyway, so I have a couple of brothers, um, and the only, they're, they live in other states. Um, they live, um too far away to really drive or, or anything like that. So um, one of the ways that we still keep in touch and, and bond as brothers is we play on the PlayStation and we play online. And so this game um, is one of the games that we play together as, as a group and socialize and, and stuff like that. So, so anyway, that's, that's, that's the reason for, anyway, so we went over by, you know, quite a few, a few bit of it uh, just for this week. Um, $175, basically. We went a little more than $175. Uh, but in my defense, okay. I, I did it before we decided to <laughs> okay, do this. Okay, so. okay, okay. And the other thing um, is, is our caffeine addiction. Um, you know, I, I, I like my caffeine. Oh, um, yeah, the $80.96, that's including, including soda and cigarettes. So soda addiction but that we both have, mostly. but a cigarettes addiction. So we both, um, you know. It is, I can understand. We drink it, a lot it, of soda. It, it's hard to quit, you know, some of these things because, you know, we become addicted to the, mm -hmm. the nicotine or but the caffeine. But we did switch to. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I, I normally drink Coke Zero. And so, um, in order to help budget and to reduce how much we spend on soda, because we spend a lot on, on Diet uh, Coke Zero, um, I am forced to buy <laughs> Diet Shasta, um, which is like half the cost. And we do buy it in bulk-ish. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we buy it like in the 20-pack the um, mm -hmm. cartons. Um, but we do go through quite a bit of it. Um, but right. and it does cost half as much. It doesn't taste as good, but it does cost a lot less. Right. Um, and in terms of our health... Eventually, we'll get over it and we'll, we'll wean ourselves off of it. In, but. in terms of our health costs, you know, it's twelve fifty. We spent $12.50, $12 which is the allotted weekly budget that we set aside for health costs. And once again, I got sick this past for week three and pretty much... We, we needed to buy some, you know, uh, hydrogen peroxide, had an infection, you know, uh, I had to go to urgent care, all yes. those costs. Which will leave a challenge for us for yeah. next week for or this week because she did not go to work right. um, that entire week. So and if I don't work, I don't get paid. Yeah. And uh, I don't think I had enough pay time. I, I would have some amount to cover the Sick some pay. of the days but th there's like about six hours that i won't be paid so i my paycheck will be impacted next week 
which we will talk about next week when we talk about uh, when we go into the week four budget recap. Um, so all in all, the total ex weekly expense for week three is two thousand one hundred and six dollars and thirty one cents. The biggest expense is our credit card debt repayments, which is a which which is good news. Two yeah. main issues that we need to watch out on is the entertainment. Um, and our addiction, I mean, and our soda and cigarette addictions and yeah. purchases. So, um, and also, when we were going through this budget thing, um, one of the things that I kind of added is that we don't need to take out ten dollars per week in coins for laundry because we have a coin laundry that we have to use. We don't have an in a part a laundry book up in the apartment, so we need to reduce it to five dollars a week. Um, we don't need to. We just found out we. We yeah. can. Um. Yeah. And and then I need to add another category called rainy day transfers and then show that whatever access that these cash envelopes will go into the whatever the remaining at the end of the month will go into the rainy day fund savings account. And so we basically so we can keep better track of how much we're actually mm -hmm. putting in there per week. And we forgot to add two yearly costs that we usually that we have that we completely forgot about, mm -hmm. which is um, the his PlayStation Plus uh, membership, which is oh, yeah. sixty dollars a year. And we we need to add um, another category called um, our virtual private network um, um, the VPN. subscription VPN subscription that we use for uh, just for the safety of our internet. I'm kind of debating: do I do we really need this or not? But it's I think just for our um, say you know peace of mind. I'm thinking you know, internet security. Security, um, yeah. Especially we live in an apartment complex, you know, uh, not in a very good area. And we do a lot area. of our stuff. Um, you know, we do transactions. We do a lot of transferring and stuff like that. A lot that's done through the computer mm -hmm. online. Yeah. So, um, you know, keeping our and that's $10 information a month. safe, I think, is kind of an right. important. So. That's ten dollars a month, and I believe if um, we buy it like a yearly thing, it, we get like a little discount. But I won't get that. I, I won't count that into it. So we need to a lot one hundred twenty dollars per year for for that as mm -hmm. well that we need to. So we need to tweak our budget a bit, you know, reduce some of the stuff, increase some of the other stuff. Um, so that's that. Well, overall, I mean, it, um, if you watch our last video, overall, we're still doing pretty good. Um, we're still we're on track. Pretty much for that, except for that little hiccup. Um, we are still um, um, within our budget. We're still putting, you know, seventeen hundred onto credit cards and stuff like that. Another thing that you know, he kind of probably. Uh, changing his behavior mom changing my behavior by like you know he would check out everything his he, he, he never saves any receipts for anything any bank transactions any uh anything you no, know well, and now before, he's starting to yeah. now he, he's the one who's reminding me do i need to save the receipts so the answer is always yes let's just save it put it in the correct category and then we can like Cat, you know check it, it yeah. you know mm -hmm. so, so that it that's it week, that's see you next week <laughs> all right guys well thank you for watching and hopefully you'll stick with us and um as we go through this journey and again if you guys have any advice on what we're doing or Leave if you comment, have or if you have any questions subscribe. on on what we're doing or anything like that um feel free to comment all right thank you and have a good night